Hey guys, Yarek here and welcome to Ember's Tip. And today I will be prepping an ammonite fossil. So the last August I was on the sand quarry in Lithuania and I found this nice ammonite. And it's very quite nicely preserved. It has still the shell intact and, and has all the iridescence in it. And today finally I will be trying to prep it. So let's go inspect it and let's begin the prep. By the way, the Christmas tree will stay in my apartment until spring. That's when it will get replanted outside. And looks like it likes conditions in my apartment as it started growing new branches. So yeah, last year at the August I was on the red clay sand quarry and I did found a few ammonite fossils and this one was the best. I think it's complete but it's not 100%. We will find out today if it's complete. So that hunting was a thrill, we were camping and then the next day, the whole day we were fossil hunting. I hope to return there one day, hopefully next year, to find more specimens because this is the first ammonite I'm gonna attempt to prep and if I fail that will be a heartbreaker for me. So yeah, I, as always I will be using a Dremel. But this time I will be using Dremel engraver. Yeah, and the difference is this one is not rotating. This is like a drill. And I also have bought a Paleozoic a tip for this uh, Dremel. So we will be attempting to use that today. So I guess let's start and let's be very careful. happened <laughs> that means it's empty inside oh my goodness is there anything we can do Jesus Christ so that was very unfortunate and at this point <laughs> I'm not sure what I was thinking but the only option I had left was to continue
Yeah, this is it pretty much. I'm not sure if I can do anything else except for, I don't know, removing more surface from the sides to make it a little bit more aesthetically pleasing as a piece. But as the specimen itself, I shouldn't go anymore because if there is no middle, that means that this shell, shell from the other side is also soft. If I will go deeper, it might crack and we will have <laughs> empty middle at all. So yeah, the first experience prepping ammonites is not so great. I think I had a very bad luck that the middle was completely empty. And I'm thinking, um, is there any way I could save this specimen? Like, not now, now it's obviously too late. But maybe when this first hole appeared, if I would pour epoxy resin inside, then the rest of the shelf uh, would have something strong to be in, so it wouldn't break all of it. But I don't know, maybe it's an experience for the next time. I have a few more specimens from that hunting, so let me pick another one and let's try to do something else. But no more ammonite, this was the only one that was worth prepping. Okay, so let's check the other specimen. And it's this one, and I'm not sure. Uh, there's a lots of stuff, but what I'm thinking of prepping is reveal a little bit more of this uh, Gastropod, or maybe a little bit of this one because this one is also interesting. In any case, this will be a great practice for me for the future fossil preps. So let's not waste any time and begin. able to take it out so I will put it <laughs> with other small fossils yeah this one is lovely really guys very nice and the question is can we do anything with this one let's try This nail just popped out like a firework. Luckily, it didn't broke on the impact with the ground, and it looks like just a regular snail. I was expecting it be something different. Lastly, I decided to remove all the hard scratches from the matrix for the piece to be a little bit more presentable as the display piece. And after that, let's make some photos of the tiny gastropods and inspect them.
Off camera, I did remove tiny ammonite from the matrix and few other gastropods. And I love them, they look really amazing, really cute, really small, and look at this, the tiniest one, <laughs> it's really crazy nice looking. And all these microfossils will also have a place on my shelf. I don't discriminate small fossils with the big ones, I love all of them. And I'm not gonna lie, all the experience of the focus stacking and macro photography with the ember paid off photographing these tiny gastropods. And finally, what can I say about the ammonite itself, the main piece of the video? Well, it was a real shame that the middle was empty, I was heartbroken when it did pop and he, my camera unfortunately doesn't pick up all the iridescence that I can see with the naked eye on this ammonite. So <laughs> I'm not sure if I will be able to do anything in the future differently when prepping ammonites that have empty middles. Maybe next time I will try to fill it out with epoxy resin so it will be hard inside. Maybe that way I will be able to save some of the shell from the front if that happens. And yet, I still like it, it's better than nothing, it will go straight on my shelf. So yeah, this is it for this video, if you did like it, subscribe to the channel, because I will make more content like this, make sure to check out the video when I found this ammonite and some other fossils, and see you next time, bye!